Hello everyone. Welcome to this new soft RPA demonstration session where I'm going to show the intelligent document processing. We are going to see how an invoice is processed end to end today. Let us start off with the process view. In our use case, the robot is triggered manually in an attended mode. It looks at an email inbox where it would receive the invoice emails. If there is a valid attachment in the email, it downloads that file into another local folder. The bot then passes this invoice PDF to Amazon Textract, and Textract is best of a breed document processing engine on cloud. It has the ability to automatically classify the incoming documents as whether it is invoices or POs or delivery documents and so on. It then extracts this information and the details from the document with very high precision and confidence levels and outputs this data for the bot to use further. And you can see here, there are quite a bit of interesting aspects specific to AWS Extract. We could see and we could extract information in the form of tables or cells, field value pairs. Um, we can also do ID checks and various other services from AWS. And all these services are available out of the box from Amazon. The data that is then sent can be used in any sort of business logic. Basically, we can perform three-way comparisons of invoice versus POs versus delivery documents, or you can run other logic like, depending on the invoice amount, it can be sent to multiple levels of approvals and so on. And finally, the data is loaded into or uploaded into any target system. And in our use case, I'm gonna show you how the bot loads this information into an application called Zero. Okay, now let's look at how the code is built. As you can see from the previous process flow, I have exactly replicated the same steps into the MuleSoft RPA Builder. We have the first step, which is monitoring the mailbox to see if there is any email. And if the email is found, it then triggers off the AWS IDP engine. And based on a, a specific um, parameter, the information I is either passed on to an Excel or it can go into the zero application. And if, if the option is to put into zero application, then you have three steps wherein you log in, you create an invoice, and then log out from this application. If there was no valid email attachment found, then the process would end. Now let me show you a sample invoice document. So I have the robot uh, monitoring this particular folder called as invoices. And you can see there's an invoice document. There's, there's three of them, emails. And uh, let me take the first one. As you can see, this is a sample invoice document. Uh, we have the vendor name, we have the billing details, the shipping details, uh, the delivery date, and, and so on. Uh, we have the information about the uh, a single line item in this case, and the total amount as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark this mail as 100 and now I'm going to trigger the bot and let's see how it processes this information. Like I said earlier, the bot is being triggered off in an attended mode here directly from the builder, but we do have the option to schedule this robot to run at specific times or continuously keep monitoring the mailbox as well. And when I run this bot, you would be able to see a pop-up window at the bottom of your screen that shows at what each of the steps what the bot is exactly doing. Most of the data extraction happens behind the scenes because the document is then taken and downloaded into the local folder and passed on to the AWS engine. The bits that you would be able to see on the screen is the zero application itself, which the bot would log in and automatically create the invoice. Let's run the bot now. As you see at the bottom of your screen, the bot says it's running the first step. It's it's also popping up some in information saying it's monitoring uh, the inbox for down and also downloading the attachments. It says it has found an email to be processed.
all right it's downloaded the attachment and now it is sending it to the aws engine all right it says the invoice data extraction is successful Now the bot is going to log into the Zero application. As you can see, it automatically clicks in uh, the login and the password details. Um, it says it doesn't want to add any multi-factor authentication. Now it's going to add or create the invoice automatically. As you see, it selects the plus button and then has selected the invoice option from the drop down it chooses the client details it's in entering the invoice number and also the reference and it's also entering the details of the line items so it's done it's completed all these aspects now and it's clicking on the profile and it is saying okay log out from the application so that's a simple example of how uh, invoice can be processed end to end in this case we haven't seen any additional logic like three-way comparisons and so on these all can be added depending on the customers requirements I'll see you again in another similar video thank you so much